if China is doing all this work, then why do we need to do it? Well, we, we have to add value ourselves. So what are we going to do in the future? Or are we just going to be the dependents of China? Well, I don't think we're going to be the dependents because they don't want to spend money on us. So we need to have something to bring to the table that's interesting. And Australia is an advanced economy. We have the ability to do all sorts of interesting, uh, cool things where we can compete with anyone in the world on various areas where we have expertise. And we need to continue that because those are the areas where we're going to add value to the economy and have something to trade in the future that's useful. So I think uh, thinking that somehow we can do something else really means that we're going to be very much less affluent in the future uh, than we are now. And that would be a, a problem. And Brian, the, uh, the question of blue sky funding and funding cuts uh, to blue sky science research. Yeah, so the, this comes down to a problem that almost every single politician I've ever met uh, faces. They don't get how blue sky research translates eventually into economic benefits. The problem is, without blue sky research, you only invent what you already know. And the big gains are the revolutions. And if you're going to invent something you already know, that's what industry is really good at. So we really need to have government focusing on doing the stuff that industry doesn't do well, blue sky research, the first stages of translation, and then work on our industry policy where we can actually get industry and academia working together, which is a place where Australia performs phenomenally poorly on the world stage. Absolutely.